in the kitchen now with Mark from La Java, my favorite coffee shop. Yeah. Good morning. Great Good morning. to see you. you too. Uh, Mark and uh, his lovely wife host our book club meetings, which we do every time again. And we'll put up more information on our book club in just a minute um, and let you know more about it, how you can join in, where you can get the book and all that kind of good stuff. But um, wanted to do some fun different menu items that they are doing now at both locations. Correct. Um, used to do breakfast and lunch and, and, and food at the just the newer Swamico locations, but now you're doing it at my location in Howard too, right? Correct, yep. We started it a couple weeks ago and uh, we're just getting going with it and everybody's comfortable with food. so. Yeah, where well it's time to stop in and have a uh, lunch or breakfast. Which is really nice. So you can get something a little bit more uh, than just a bagel yep. and a muffin, um, which they have great pastry anyway, but if you're, you know, wanting a little bit more. And of course, the most amazing coffee. You actually roast the beans in there. I always love it when I'm in there uh, working on my computer or reading, and then you can, you know, actually watch the roasting going yeah. on. It's not many coffee shops do that, and boy, yeah. what a difference it mm -hmm. makes. Really, really good stuff. Uh, great lattes and, and, you know, mochas and cappuccinos and all that, but you also do, uh, is, is this a French the press? The French press, okay. yeah. And, and what, why is that, you know, people who are really into coffee, why does that su make such a good cup? Well, with the French press, I mean, you're putting the grounds and the water right together, and typically with a filter, um, it's pulling, pulling the oils off the coffee, where with a French press, it's all part of it, so you get a much richer cup of coffee than you do if you do like an auto drip machine. So we put the, the ground beans in there. The, yeah, the the ground coffee in. You put your coffee or your water right on top hot of the water. grounds. Hot water on top of the coffee. Okay. Let it sit for three to four minutes, and then at that point, you just push down on the plunger, and then it's all set to go. And, and it it's smells just, so good. Yeah, it just makes a regular wow. great cup wow. of coffee. And you'll do that for people who are just you know stopping in for a cup. Yep. You can get anything as far as any of the coffees we have at French Press. If you want to try one of the higher end coffees that you don't want to buy a pound of first or even if you want to just try one of our new ones. And like the, what I brought today is one of our latest coffees we brought in. It's called, it's from uh, Haiti. It's one of our Haitians coffees. And this one we're actually doing as a, uh, more or less a fundraiser for uh, uh, Haiti itself, where if you buy like a $10 bag of coffee and it's actually as a serve coffee, uh, three and a half fifty of that bag or that ten dollars goes back to the fund which goes for Haiti. Very cool. Yeah. That's super cool. Also have tons of different teas. Both my kids are really into teas um, and they've got a whole wall of different teas too. And actually so. we brought a couple we'll bring up in the next time. All right, sounds yeah. good. All right, let's talk about lunch which can get so okay. boring after uh, you know same old bologna sandwich mm -hmm. and PB&J. So uh, you brought along some fun different sandwiches. Yep. Uh, we're gonna make the turkey pesto panini which starts with uh, like a flatbread. It's just a regular flatbread. Okay. Um, uh, it's just, yeah, flatbread, I guess. But I love those. <laughs> you know, it's, it means something different than bread. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's got, this is a pesto yeah. mayo, mayo, correct? Yeah. Okay. Basically, yeah, we just put on a pesto mayo okay. uh, to give it a little uh, different flavor than just a regular uh, mayo sauce. Yeah. All right. Now we've got, looks like some really nice looking turkey. Yeah. And then we also use a uh, smoked uh, oven roasted turkey. Okay. And we just put that all on one side. Okay. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of Swiss cheese. Mm -hmm. And, and sun-dried sun tomatoes. tomatoes. Yum. Love those. So this is going to have some great color, yep. some great flavor. And then we just fold it over. Yeah, we just fold it in half. Okay. And we throw it on the panini grill. And boy, I tell you, I am loving we this is mine from home my kids use it all the time <laughs> it rocks it's a great way to use the leftovers mm -hmm. you know if you have a little of this a little of that throw right. it on a panini and it's all good and we'll just warms it up gets mm -hmm. it all toasty yep. and really really great you brought along some other sandwiches yeah. well uh, actually this is the one okay where the panini uh is actually finished um and then we serve it with chips and that and a couple other uh, lunch uh, options we have is our uh, turkey gobbler uh which is uh turkey with on a croissant um, there's uh, cranberry sauce and uh, fresh spinach fresh spinach and so it's uh, like a taste of Thanksgiving yep. huh mm -hmm. I like that and, and this then one? our other one is more of a vegetarian it's a black bean burger mm. and that one there again we serve it up on cheese and uh, bread it's a whole wheat bread with uh, spinach again and salsa and chips. And really healthy chips. Mm -hmm. These are um, uh, chips with flaxseed, gluten-free, and they look really delicious. Yeah, they really are nice. very good. All right, we've got our information on Book Club, um, and we want to correct the phone number to call and reserve your spot. Uh, we're headed to the Swamico location of La Java, Monday, May 13th. Uh, we'll be there at 530. 
Um, they will provide wonderful snacks, and we just come hang out, buy some coffee. And this is the number to call to reserve your spot. Can you read that number, Mark? Yeah, it's the number now is 544-8230. And Mark has just told us that they're going to have the book. We've been getting a lot of questions. Where can we get the book that you're going to be reading? It's called Orphan Doors. Um, and they're going to be getting the book, so you can just pick it up right there at either one of the locations in Howard or Swamico. It's a local author. I love to support local authors. So um, that's where you're going to be able to get the book. It's a little bit hard to find right now. So you'll just be able to pick it up. Pick it up this weekend at La Java. Uh, and uh, have a cup of coffee and maybe a panini when you're there. This is looking so good. What are we making next time, Mark? Uh, next one up is uh, one of our breakfast sandwiches. It's the portobello mushroom wrap. Oh, look at that. The cheese is all melty. looks fantastic. All right, stick around. We'll be back with some more ideas to spice up your life. Recipes with a little bit of a kick. And, of course, all the recipes and more information on Book Club you can find on our website, fox11online.com. Click on the Living tab and it'll all be right there. And we'll be right back, so stay with us.